Hi, today we're going to make Mop Santas. Grab a mop, grab a stocking. For under $10, you can make one of these. You can make more than one. Get the family together and have some fun. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. We're going to make a mop Santa, and here's what we need. One cotton mop refill, one traditional Christmas stocking, some cardboard, some glue, paint, and varnish, a piece of strong wire to hang your project, some googly eyes, and a pom-pom. When I saw these mops, I thought, Santa Claus, don't you? Well, I did, and let me show you how it's going to work. We're going to take this mop, didn't buy any particular brand. I bought the one that was available at my home improvement store. And I did want a mop refill that was seamed in the center, no extra attachments to it. Because what I'm going to do is very carefully flip this over to the inside and I'm going to glue these two sides together. So one is going to hang down a little longer than the other and that's perfectly fine. That's the effect we want. I just want it to try to be a little bit neat as I fold them in. So I'm going to put some glue on the seam here and I'm going to flip this over. And then what you do is you get the effect of a longer beard, a little bit of shorter beard coming down over. But okay, so glue. And let's see if we have enough here. I'm ready with a little more. I'm really going to load it in. Be careful because it's hot. There's so much cotton here that it really adheres quickly. In fact, the glue gun can't keep up with me here. Come on, glue gun. So all I want to do is get a seam to flip this over onto itself. I'm going to pull back a little bit and I'm just going to press. So see what I did as I threw the seam backwards and you see how there's the longer length in the back and the shorter length in the front. And it's all nice and frayed, that's perfect. I think it looks like a beard already. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this bearded area into a stocking. That's what I'm gonna use to make Santa's hat. $1.99 at the same home improvement store. Very inexpensive project and very fun. So I'm just gonna take the inside of the sock here and I'm gonna fit a piece of cardboard in. And what I'm doing here is I want to make Santa's face. And I'm going to measure, and I'm going to come a little bit on each side. I'm just going to make a, a mark with my finger there and just cut it. You're getting a general idea of how you want the face to look. Because you can make it thinner if you want. So I've got this piece of cardboard now. And I'm going to just very loosely get an idea. I'm going to fit it in. See how it fits in? And I'm going to buddy that up to the seam that's on the top of the white furry part of the sock. But I want to make this look like a face. So I'm going to pull in just around, come around each end. I'm just going to get a general idea. There I've got a face bottom and it's going to fit up inside the sock. Okay, and then I'm going to add the face to that, and I'm going to put the mop in. So let's go here. Let me attach this directly from this part of the fur to the cardboard. I'm feeling just for where the cardboard meets the top of the stocking red part, the velvety part of the stocking. You can use any kind of stocking you want. I like the velvety because it's plush looking and it makes for easier shaping. They're called traditional stockings and it's really gonna do its job for me here. So now we have this attached. See? Ho, ho, ho. Next, I'm gonna use some googly eyes. I'm not gonna put them on yet, but if you don't have googly eyes, you could cut out a piece of cardboard in a circle and you could make an eye on that so that would be helpful. I also want to make a couple of cheeks and a nose and I'm just cutting these out randomly out of cardboard. So I've got nose 
I've got cheeks. All right, I want a nice big long mustache. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of use the cheeks, let's see, and the nose. So I'm going to quickly just draw out his mustache would come up like that. Okay, I'm going to cut him out. Eyes, cheeks, nose, mustache. Here we go. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay. Now the other thing I want to do one more thing. We got the eyes are going to go in here. I want to put a couple of eyebrows. And some of these loose pieces make great eyebrows. Check it out. That one's a little bit thick. Let's cut this one down a little bit. Maybe I've got another one here that would suffice. So check through your scraps. Aha. That's even better. Now I need to paint a few things and then we can attach it to the face. I'm going to use a piece of the cardboard here and get some white paint. I'm going to paint the mustache. Okay, I painted his mustache white. Set it over here to dry. And I'm going to paint his cheeks. I'm going to leave his nose. I like the color of his face. I'm going to add a little bit of white to his eyebrows. Eyebrows, mustache, let's do some cheeks. I'm going to have to mix up a little bit of paint. I think I'll just use the lid here so I can clean that up easily enough. I don't need a lot, but I want some white and some, I've got some red here. Add a little titch of red and hopefully that'll get us some pink. Tiniest bit, thank you. So I'm just going to give him some pink cheeks. There you go, Santa. If you want to make him rosier, just add a little more red. I think what he needs is a, a rosier nose on the end. So we'll do that next. I'm just going to touch it. I want just a little more color. Our parts are dry. Let's start our Santa face. I'm going to start with the cheeks. I'm going to put them where I think I want them. Get some glue. And glue down. There we go. A bit of glue. Hold that cheek in place. Now I'm going to put the moustache. I can touch these up later if I need to. Now where'd your nose go? There's your nose. The nose is going to come like this. Let's see where I want the eyes to go. And let's get his eyebrows in here. I like that the eyebrows come around. Nose. I'm going to wait in case I decide on his eyes. Okay, there's his one eyebrow. At least he doesn't look grumpy. No one likes a grumpy Santa. Okay. <laughs> now we get to put in the hair and the beard. The mop. This is a mop Santa after all. Aren't you Santa? So what we're going to do is take this mop that we had folded down on itself. Okay. The shorter side, or this goes to the back. So the shorter side is going to hang in front. And since his face is all attached to this side, I can go in and I'm just going to work this into the sock. Just pushing it in. Oh gosh, not quite past the red mark there, the red fabric right there. Now I have to attach that. So what I'm going to do is start by throwing some on the front here. I'm going to reach back in with my glue gun. Attach. So far, it's holding, but I want him to stay in the hat, so I'm going to flip him over. And now I can just really go to town between this white fur here and the mop. Ooh, it's nice and warm, but it won't burn you. There's so much fur there and fabric from the cotton. Yeah, see, we can't even get it up anymore. That's good. All right, what have we got so far? <laughs> There's our Santa so far. There you are, Mop Santa, except I want to fix your hat. Here we go. Turn it towards me. You could leave it as a sock if you'd like. I'm going to fold it in more. And I'm going to use the velvet 
to scrunch up the hat a little bit. And this is all just in how you like it, how you think it'll look good. And then I'm gonna flip this down like that. See, so I'm going to putz with it till I get the hat I like. I'm gonna pull in a few little pleats. Just gonna glue it, but the velvet doesn't glue fast. So I gotta really just hang on to it for a bit. Let it adhere as I'm going. I'm kind of just futzing with it. And then I'm going to pull it down, see? So you can make it look more like a sock if you want. This is just how you like the looks of it. More glue. Be patient with the velvet. Because it does work, it does look pretty. Now I'm just gonna hold it. Hum a little Santa song. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, the glue is held. What have we got here now? We've got a Santa. Let me look at you, Santa. There we go. I think he needs a little more tweaking. And I'm going to add the pom-pom to that. I just have a pom-pom I picked up somewhere. I don't even remember where now. But this one's made of tulle. You could use cotton balls. You could use the yarn. Anything you want to do to make a pom-pom and just put on the end of his hat. Done there. <laughs> okay, so I love this beard, but your face needs work. I want a little more color on his cheeks. He's been out there in the snow. We've got some white, we've got some red. I want a little more of a contrast between his nose and between his cheeks. So I'm gonna take some red. I want a deeper color on his cheeks. Oh, that's much better, look at that. But I want to look at the Santa and I want to laugh. And part of the fun of Santa is he's out there in the cold and he has that cherry nose. Okay, that's a proper red nose right there. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Well, while his little nose is drying there, I'm going to touch up his beard. And then I'm going to do something else here. Let's see how this works. I was thinking I would shake a little bit of glitter onto his mustache. His eyes just came down to look at me. Here's what we have so far. Mop Santa. Time to flip him over and add the hanger. Here we go, I'm just using some wire. Something that's strong enough that I can poke through the fabric. Come here, Santa. So I'm gonna get, let's see, I'm gonna get a couple feet off here. I'm just gonna poke through, pinch the fabric, poke through, easily poke through. The velveteen is strong enough to, to hold and I'm going to twist that around. Twist, twist, twist. Okay, then I'm gonna come over to this other side and I've got way too much, don't I? And I'm going to again pinch you know what, I gotta turn you this way because I can't see you from over there. Poke through the fabric. There it goes. All right, we have our hanger. Check that out, see? Very simple, hidden behind his hat. I just have a few more little tweaks to do. I'm going to give him a little bit of a varnish on his face to brighten him up a little bit. And I might add a little something up there. I feel like he needs just one more touch of festive. I'm just um, varnishing the areas that I had painted. I guess we could do his whole face, but I'm just going for the painted areas. Santa needs one more thing. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little something to his cap. I took some bells I had and some pipe cleaner, just wound them all up. And I thought, well, wouldn't that look cute right there? So I'm gonna attach that, and then Santa, I'm gonna leave you alone. Big glob of glue. Right there. Oh, you can have just a little bit of a jingle. Oh my gosh, what a big beard you have. Let's see how he turned out. Grab him by his hook. And there you have it, Santa's done. Ho, 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 he's gonna be hanging around at our house. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to see if you made a Santa for your own door. He's a wonderful addition to any holiday decor. See you again.